In his childhood, Chris Gardner lacked everything he needed to survive. He hardly knew his father, Thomas Turner, who was living in Louisiana during his birth. His stepfather, Freddie Triplett, was physically abusive to both him and his mother, Betty Jen Gardner. The little Chris was later separated from his mother by his violent and abusive stepfather and was brought up in several foster care homes. Unknown to him, his mother was convicted of trying to kill Triplett and was sentenced to jail. Despite his mother's periods of absence, she was a positive source of strength and inspiration to her son. She encouraged Chris to believe in himself and sowed the seeds of self-reliance in him. Chris coached his mother as saying, you can only depend on yourself. The cavalry isn't coming. Chris had also determined from an early age that alcoholism, domestic abuse, child abuse, illiteracy, fear and powerlessness were all things he wanted to avoid in the future. He soon decided to join the Navy and served in the U.S. Corps for four years. After his retirement, he took up the job of a lab research assistant with Surgeon Robert Ellis. There, he developed an interest in building a medical career. Chris later abandoned his job at the lab as the job was low paying and he had a family, his wife Jackie and their son Christopher Jr. to cater to. He also ditched his dreams of becoming a medical doctor. For some time, this young man sold medical equipment to make ends meet, even though he was never really satisfied with what he was doing. As his passion for doing something more rewarding grew, Chris decided to become a stockbroker. After a few failed attempts at getting a placement at several training programs offered by different firms, he was eventually accepted as a trainee at the Dean Whiter Reynolds with no pay in sight until he was able to get a confirmed job. During this period, Chris, now separated from Jackie and in full custody of his son, had to secretly struggle with homelessness with his son while they survived on the money from his medical equipment sales. Despite those difficulties, Chris exhibited a sort of dedication that eventually paid off, and soon he was able to establish his stockbroking firm, Gardner Rich & Co. Though he started the firm small, the firm ended up shooting Chris to fame. He later sold his small stake in Gardner Rich & Co. in a multi-million dollar deal in 2006 and became CEO and founder of the multi-million company Christopher Gardner International Holdings. The estimated net worth of this famous stockbroker soon rose to about $60 million. You see, if you're going through difficult situations as you watch this video, it's easy for you to conclude that life isn't fair to you. I get it. I've been in your shoes before and I can tell you how it pains. I suffered rheumatism for 17 years and I prayed every day of my life for death. But today, when I look back, I can see why God permitted such pains. Alicia Dixon said once you've been through tough times, you can only become stronger. And one thing about being stronger is that when you become stronger, you become better, smarter and richer. Don't allow what you're going through now to destroy your greater future. Chris Gardner determined from an early age that he was going to avoid alcoholism, domestic abuse, child abuse, illiteracy, fear and powerlessness. As you go through difficult times, avoid fear. As you are going through a difficult time, avoid excuse making. As you are going through a difficult time, avoid alcoholism, drugs and every other vice that may destroy your dream. Believe in yourself. Wake up every day to fight forward and you shall win. Robert Schuller said, tough times never last, but tough people do. Dirk Nowitzki said and I quote, I understand you've got to go through tough times to get better. If you like this video, watch more videos on our channel. We love you.